what's up you guys i'm gonna make this a really quick video um <clears throat> i have followed kevin samuels a long time ago before he blew up mainstream <clears throat> i didn't follow him because i didn't like how he was talking to black women or trying to make them feel and stuff so i followed him but i do keep up with all the things that's going on on youtube so i'm seeing that you know kevin had an interview with Nicki minaj or whatever and i watched a little snippet of it on cynthia's G's channel and i can tell by his body language and how he was coming off that, he knows that he got himself into some deep shit. Because, you know, Kevin's main deal was to never, you know, help black men. I mean, help black women find, you know, good black men. He never cared about, you know, trying to help women, you know, be successful in the relationship. That was never his priority. His priority, after he started getting the numbers and he saw all the fame that was coming for it, he saw all the fame that was coming with it, you know, he got the big head, you know, and now people are really charging him up and they they, they really pressing him about some things like, you know, you know, why do you feel, um, why do you feel this way towards black, black women? Why do you come off this way when you're talking to black women? And... He can't even form proper sentences when he's speaking to certain people because he never really cared about, you know, trying to help black women. You know what I'm saying? He never even thought that he would be this popular. You know what I'm saying? And he's just basically now spewing a bunch of bullshit and a bunch of content coming from other creators that's not even his content. He's still in all these... He's stealing all these people's content here on YouTube, and and it's not something that has come from the words of his mouth. You know, he's stealing everybody else's content, so he doesn't even have anything to back himself up. You know what I'm saying? Now he's just sitting, now he just, you know, looking like a fucking fool to not only to the manosphere and, you know, the YouTube community, but... Now he's looking like that to, you know, the world. You know what I'm saying? And he's made a big fool out of himself. Because with fame comes a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? And people are going to, if especially if they don't like you, they're going to start digging up dirt on your name. They're going to try to find out all your little dirty secrets. And they're going to expose that. For the world to see and you don't want why would you want your dirty laundry if you're not a celebrity celebrity you know what i'm saying why would you want your your dirty laundry out there for just for the world to see you know what i'm saying and we already know that he don't even like women he's not even attracted to women so how are you gonna tell how are you gonna tell women about women or what they like you know what i'm saying you're not and you're not even interested in women you know what i'm saying but now he has gotten so known in these youtube streets and all over social media everybody pretty much know who kevin samuels is and you have all these t channels that are exposing kevin samuels for what they really are you know what i'm saying and he's already you know latched on to the manosphere you know what i'm saying because you bring up kevin samuels you know they know that he's still in He's getting all his content from other creators in here in the um black manosphere. So now he gonna have these dudes that be bashing black women looking stupid. You know what I'm saying? And one thing they need to know is that they don't play about black women. You know what I'm saying? You y'all steady coming for our necks and shit, and then all for it to blow up in your face. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't want If you don't have the facts to back up what you're talking about, and you're not actually passionate about what you're talking about, you're going to be looking like a fool. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that's... I never want my name to be 
tied to gossip and you know drama you know what i'm saying because it's not a good thing you know what i'm saying because you know what comes with drama and being messy like that you know you're going to piss a lot of people off and you're going to make a lot of people mad so therefore people are going to start throwing jabs at you they're going to start throwing insults at you they're going to try to you know bring up dirt on you to expose you to the world and if you're not able to handle that you're not able to handle handle being talked about ridiculed having your name slandered you know it's best to just stay in your place you know what i'm saying and i learned that myself you know i stay i stay in my place because you know i don't want who i don't i don't want fame i never in my life wanted fame you know what i'm saying i'm not coming on here on youtube to try to be youtube famous you know i just do what i do and i give my input on things that i'm passionate about or things that you know i feel a certain way about but you know kevin has gotten himself into into some deep shit because you, you have black women out here especially you know women who are in the media social media you know that are famous you know they really know they really know how to talk their shit you know what i'm saying these women are no matter what you think about certain people they're you know highly intelligent and they have high self-esteem and Nicki minaj you have some people that might not like Nicki minaj but she will let a nigga know you know what i'm saying and he was stuttering and he just looked like he didn't even know why he was even you know he don't even know you know why he even started you know this whole thing you know this whole trying to be a dating coach now he's thinking to himself like what the fuck did i get myself into and that's the only thing that i picked up from that like what the hell did i get myself into you know what I'm saying? Because you basically talking about a whole bunch of stuff that you don't that you don't really know about, that you don't really deal with, because you don't even you don't even deal with black women. You know what I'm saying? You're not even attracted to black women. You already was exposed for having another man in your bed. You know what I'm saying? So you just look crazy out here on these streets. You know what I'm saying? He should have stuck to designing being a fashion designer whatever he was trying to do selling perfume colognes that's what he should have stuck to because that dating coach and you coming from the you coming for black women knowing how black women are knowing how lethal we can be when we are disrespected you did the wrong motherfucking thing you fucked up you fucked up